Airbus A380 fuel pumps are located behind fairings on the wing lower surface. The fuel pump element has two upper alignment slots on either side of the pump. At the pump inlet, there are four slide valve slots which open and close the canister slide valve during installation and removal of the pump. On the pump lower flange, there are six captive attachment screws, an electrical receptacle, two tool mount holes, and a drain plug. To align the pump during installation, there are white and black vertical lines. These marks are repeated on the opposite side of the flange to allow the pump to be installed with the electrical receptacle pointed either forward or aft. A horizontal white line on the fuel pump is also used during pump replacement. The fuel pump canister is mounted inside the wing fuel tank. The mesh covered inlet is sealed by a slide valve when the pump is removed. This allows pump replacement while there is fuel inside the tank. The slots on the fuel pump lock into the four internal tongues on the slide valve. When the pump is rotated clockwise during installation, it unlocks the slide valve. Pushing the pump into the canister moves the slide valve up, opening the fuel inlet. During removal, the pump slides the valve down to seal the inlet and rotates counterclockwise to lock closed. Before you install a pump, look into the canister and make sure that the white line on the slide valve is aligned with the white line on the edge of the canister. If they are not aligned, stop immediately and contact Airbus. Inside the canister, near the top, is the upper alignment pin. This engages with the upper alignment slot on the fuel pump to guide the pump during installation. The Airbus fuel pump tool is installed onto the pump mounting holes. The pump weighs over 12 kilograms, so lifting and aligning it can be difficult. Therefore, two engineers are required to lift and guide the pump into the canister. The white vertical line on the pump is aligned with the white line on the canister. This ensures the upper alignment pin is in position with the pump slot. As the pump is inserted, you will feel resistance when the pin hits the first stop. Confirm that the white horizontal line is just visible and there is a 19mm gap. The tool is then used to rotate the pump until the black vertical line is aligned with the white line on the canister. The pump element can now be pushed up until it is flush with the skin and the six captive attachment screws installed and tightened. Remember, fuel pump replacement requires two people to perform safely. If carrying out this task from an EWP, ensure the engine is turned off in case of a fuel spill. Ensure the pump and canister alignment marks are closely observed. If fuel does not stop flowing from the drain plug during removal, do not remove the pump from the canister. Always use the correct tooling in accordance with the Airbus AMM.